Over the three days at the Geitz and Peebles, there was well over 20 hours of rugby on view at all levels, and the standard was extremely high. We got glimpses of stars of the future at under-16 and under-18 levels, with Gala Red Triangle taking the under-16 title with a win against Peebles. While in the under-18 tournament, a cracking final between Peebles Reds and Hoig Youth resulted in a victory at this event for the first time in 18 years for the host side. The women's tournament was dominated by the charity team Hearts and Balls, who cruised through their event to defend their title against Kerstoff and Cougars. And so to the main attraction, round one of the Kings of the Sevens, and Holders, Hearts and Balls tasted defeat against Watsonians in their pool. With Watsonians who had a relatively poor campaign last season, back to their old form and making it through to the semi-final, where they beat Melrose to take their place in the final. In the other semi, Selkirk raced to a commanding 24-10 lead with just two minutes remaining against Gala, but Gala clawed back the lead to level it 24-all. They completed the comeback heroics with a golden try in extra time. But in the Battle of the Maroons in the final, it was Watsonians who were victorious, running out winners of the Peebles Sevens by 17 points to seven, and they take the 10 points into round two at Hoyk next weekend. Stuart Cameron, ITV News, Peebles.